everyone, good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. Um, in this video, I'm going to be participating in the um, scavenger hunt um, round five Christmas edition tag. This was created by the beautiful Danny Buttons. I will link her channel in the video description so if you haven't checked out her channel please do she is an absolute joy to watch and to listen to and she is such a bright light in the coloring community and i really do appreciate her so danny thank you so much for creating yet another fantastic scavenger hunt um i haven't been tagged by anyone but i've seen quite a few videos and i thought it you know it looked really fun so i'm just going to jump on the bandwagon and join in so i hope that that is okay um i haven't chosen anyone to tag yet i will have a think about it as i'm sort of showing the books and um yeah i'll i'll come back with three people who i would like to tag so without further ado let's just jump in and get started so, just move my <clears throat> list to the side. So the first item we had to find was a nutcracker. So, for that one, I chose Romantic Country, The Second Tale by Eerie. And I chose this double page spread. I just think this is absolutely stunning and I love these nutcrackers I think they're absolutely gorgeous and this is a page that I really cannot wait to colour so that is my choice for nutcracker. Next um, we have to find string lights so for that one I chose the um, I think it's Disney colour the four seasons I'm not sure who the illustrator is I'm afraid and for that prompt, the string lights, I chose this double page spread. How absolutely gorgeous is this? I do have two whips in this book at the moment. Um, so I really kind of want to get those done before I start on this. But um, this is just absolutely beautiful. Got Tigger and Piglet, Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore, they're all there with the string lights here, all sort of like getting tangled up. And then we've got some here along the top and over here with the writing. So I just thought that this would be a perfect page to choose for string lights. Okay, prompt number three was Santa on vacation. Guys, I have spent, oh my goodness, the best part of an hour going through all of my books and I cannot find a page with Santa on vacation. So I have failed the scavenger hunt tag. I have failed miserably. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, I cannot find a page with Santa on vacation so I don't have anything to show for that one but never mind I'm going to just move on to you know to the next one um but yeah I failed <laughs> so the next one prompt number four was holiday words so for that one <clears throat> this was another sort of one that is a bit sort of tricky for me to find. Um, this is the Christmas Easy Colouring Book for Adults by the fabulous team at Sally Berry. And I chose this one. These gorgeous bells. Um, and it says there, Merry Christmas. So I thought, you know, that would be a great one to colour. So I am going to leave this book out because I really like this page. So, um, and at the minute, sort of just feeling absolutely rotten. Um, 
something like this is just sort of going to be you know nice easy stress-free coloring and that's exactly what I need so I will be coloring this one very very soon so that is my choice for number four holiday words number five the prompt was to find an angel um i had quite a few books with angels in um but i i don't know i just wanted to find one that appealed to me so this is the chibi christmas adult coloring book by the team at jade summer and i chose this one i just think she is absolutely beautiful um i think i have colored two pages in this book so far but yeah i think she is absolutely gorgeous so i am really looking forward to coloring her um i think what i will do is on the background i think i'm going to do like a pan pastel background keep it sort of quite soft and um just really soft and subtle and you know very mellow and then i will go over the snowflakes with a clear glitter gel pen i just think that will look really pretty so i do have plans for this page next i have to find a teddy bear so for that one i chose I'll just move the curtains a bit there you go so for that one i chose um menuet de bonheur by kanoko agusa and i chose this page here oh. i chose this page here um because we've got you know some different teddies and things here on the shelves i just think they are absolutely beautiful really really gorgeous so yeah i definitely want to be coloring this one soon next i had to find um prompt number seven an ugly sweater so for that i pulled out my christmas charm coloring book this is by the amazing teresa goodridge and this is by a creative haven this book is absolutely gorgeous i can't wait to work in this one and this is the page i chose for ugly sweater so there's quite quite a few <laughs> there i think some of them are quite cute actually i don't think all of them are ugly i you know i think they're quite cute i'd happily wear a, a funky christmas sweater <laughs> but yeah i think they're adorable so there you go that's my page for ugly sweaters um snow globe i had um sort of difficulty um because i was like well it does it need to be Christmassy or yeah you know, I wasn't sure and I thought well because it's the Christmas edition I do want to look for a Christmas themed snow globe um there was a few but at the end of the day I came back to Johanna's Christmas by the wonderful Johanna Basford um this is my new copy because my old copy was one of the johanna basford books that merlin had weed on and got ruined so this is my brand new copy i haven't colored anything in it yet um but of course this is the snow globe i did have this colored in my other in my other book and i had colored it to look like um arendelle castle from disney's frozen and then here i had written let it go um so yeah i do think i want to have a go at um recreating that again if i can but that was like several years old so it'll be interesting to see how this one turns out but absolutely gorgeous i i love this book so much it's it's absolutely stunning so this one will definitely be staying out um for december but yeah that's my choice for snow globe okay the next one prompt number nine was hot chocolate with marshmallows 
please excuse me, I'm just going to take a drink. Okay, this is another prompt that I had a huge amount of difficulty finding. Um, oh, the amount of books I looked through, um, and some of them, you know, it looked like there was hot drinks and stuff, but there wasn't marshmallows in it, and I was like, oh my goodness, like really sort of panicking. Anyway, I hope this counts, I hope it counts. I found a page in Fairy Miracles, <clears throat> excuse me, by Clara Markova, and I found this page. Now, it looks like there is a hot chocolate here, and the marshmallows are down here on the saucer that the teacup is sat on. So I, I don't know if that counts, but this is the closest I could get. So again, Danny, I hope that this is okay. Um, but yeah, I guess, you know, they're, they're giving the person the option to put the marshmallows in themselves. But um, I hope that counts. That was the closest I could get to hot chocolate with marshmallows. Um, number 10 is to find a snowman without a top hat, but you get Bonus points if you can find a snowman who is wearing no hat at all. As soon as I read this prompt, I knew what I wanted to show you. I knew. I knew straight away. So, we have Disney Buddies. Um, I have put it in this display folder because it was the, um, the glue bound across the top book. Um, and they come apart so easily and this one was just it was falling apart left right and center so I have put this one in a folder and then I've stuck the the binder bit that was across the top with the glue I've stuck that here and put the front cover here so prompt number 10 a snowman without a hat Olaf Olaf does not wear a hat and he is a snowman. So, yes, I chose this page. I absolutely love it. He is just, oh my goodness, he is such a joy. I love the character. He always makes me smile. So this is a page, again, that I'm really looking forward to working on. So there you go, that is my choice for Snowman with No Hats. And that was from Disney Buddies by Hatchet Heroes. Okay, and then the bonus was to show a picture of your dream Christmas gift. Okay, um, as you all are probably aware, at the moment, Aaron has been in hospital for three and a half weeks. Um, and... Caden and Emmy are now both positive for the uh, the virus, the pandemic. They have both tested positive. So there isn't a picture that I can show you, but my dream Christmas gift th this year would definitely be to have Aaron home for Christmas and for the kids to feel better. That is That is what I would like. Um, more than anything but if we were talking about like a, a gift um, you know a present for me um, I think I would choose um, Rhapsody in the Forest by Kanoko Agusa because that was another book of mine that got ruined and I was devastated because I had coloured my first page in there as a buddy colour with the beautiful Zoe from Addicted to Colouring and it was an Easter page and I was really happy you know with my colour palette and things for that page um, and those books really do intimidate me but I was so happy with how the page came out um, so yeah I'm, I'm really missing that book so that would kind of be a dream gift along with um, some handmade watercolour paints I'm really, really enjoying my watercolours at the moment. 
um so yeah i know um there's quite a lot of stores on etsy they have some beautiful paints um renaissance um Ren renaissance colors i think um you know she has an amazing selection um the art spirits the beautiful rebecca again you know she has some amazing colors on her shop kj designs by karen um pigment and quirks just yeah there's there's loads of them um but yeah i would absolutely love some handmade watercolor paints and i have actually asked aaron for some for christmas or my birthday so we'll see but um yeah there you go that was um my my choices my selection for the scavenger hunt round five christmas edition hmm who would i like to tag i need to have a think about this let me have a think and i will be right back okay so i've had a think and the three beautiful ladies that i would like to tag are zoe at addicted to coloring helena at the coloring zone and rachel from mini rachie i will link those channels down below along with danny's channel as well so again a great big thank you to danny for creating this tag i had a lot of fun participating and i really hope you don't mind me jumping on the bandwagon thank you so much everyone for joining i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day take care stay safe and i'll see you all again soon lots of love mm -hmm.